Okay, so today the British girl and the German guy are having a very special episode. We're currently in Italy and we went to the supermarket and we bought some Italian snacks. Woo Yay! And we're gonna eat them and see what they're like and tell you about them. But first, I just want to make like a kind of public announcement. Italian food is our absolute favourite food in the entire world. And we love coming to Italy and having real authentic food. And there's nothing better than coming to Italy and having mama's lasagna. But today we're kind of being, we're doing more kind of like, you know, English or I guess American snacks really, like snacks. Completely different from typical Italian cuisine, so all right, first up, one of my personal favorites, Nutella, be ready. So we tried Nutella before, obviously I'm from Germany, so I've had Nutella all my life. I actually thought Nutella was German until quite recently. Yeah, me too, actually. But we never had these things. They looked like tiny uh, pieces of bread with Nutella in them already, which is awesome. Most Italians we know don't seem to really have breakfast. They have like a, maybe like a small croissant and a coffee. Nice. So it is like a little bread. That smells like Nutella. That Cheers. smells like Nutella. Cheers. Mm. Bellissimo. Mm. It's crunchier than I thought it would be. Really good. This is really highly recommended for breakfast, people. Mm. All right, next. Next. Mm. Okay, next up we have Grisby, Grisby. Nice. It looks like more hazelnut, more chocolate, more biscuits. Oh, and look. Got the little Italian flag as well. Nice. Wow, they look incredible. Mm. They look like really good biscuits with a nice filling. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Yep, I'm a fan of hazelnut, so this is really good actually. It's not as good as the Nutella, the Be Ready, I don't think. You? No, no, that, this is really good, but it's not as good as the yeah. first thing. Next. Okay, next up we have Amaretto di Italia. Amaretti biscuits, and it says in like three different languages that these are typically Italian, so... <laughs> oh my god, they smell amazing. Wow, they smell like marzipan, mm. which oh, yeah. I'm a big like fan amaretto? of. Amaretto? Amaretto, yeah. So they're quite small, which is nice. Cheers. They're like ice. Bite size. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, wow, you can do it. Oh my god. <laughs> Go. Go. Oh, I can do it. Let me one. eat it off your eye. <laughs> That was horrible. Mmm. Tastes nice though. Mmm. Doesn't taste like you could expect. Doesn't taste like a biscuit. Tastes almost like a candy bar. Yeah, mm. no, I think they taste like marking pan. No, really good. Mmm. Oh, damn it. Oh, and you can play this amazing game with it. Okay. <laughs> damn it. I can't get, get it, it, damn it. Just throw it, throw it at me. Alright, alright. Open your mouth and keep it open, damn it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, just mouth up. Yeah, no, do it myself. No, no, do it, do it. Yes! No, do it to you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> They're like little rocks. <laughs> Next up, we have a, a selection of tronkies, mm. which look really cool. We've got, I don't know, oh, hazelnut. We've got Cocoa, latte a cereal, oh, milk and cereal, and coconut. Which ones do you want? Oh my god, Dips I think... Dips on the coconut. Oh, uh, half each. Okay. Okay, I'll just have, uh, start with the milk and cereal one. Alright. Alright. So, we did other uh, food challenges, if you haven't watched them yet. Um, we did a Thai one and a Filipino mm. one. This is and by far the most delicious this one. This seems to be the most delicious one. Uh, we also ate bugs. Oh yeah, we ate bugs as well, so... Um, check out the links, the links are in the description for that, below this video. And uh, so this is again quite similar to the Be Ready thing we had at the beginning with uh, waffles and then um, stuff on the inside, okay. Hmm, very coconutty. Nah, mine isn't that great. This one? Yeah. This one's, a, this one's kind of like, um, what's that chocolate that I like? Duplo. This one is really good. Hmm, gotta try the other one. I'm going for cocoa. I'm going for hazelnut. This is really good. This is really good. This one's like dark chocolate. Mine. Swap then? Mm -hmm. so yeah, I have, to, I have to have a bite of each. Half each. Mm, this one's good. What order would you put them in? I like the coke one best, then this one, then probably this one, then the yogurt and cereal one. I like that one the best. Then 
Probably like this. I don't know, I, I like the coconut one actually. Alright, cool. So Next. Yeah. What's next in Italian? Oh, we're kind of like over chocolate now, and we're going to try this one. I think it says green, verde, with aloe vera. Mm. And it's from the area where we're currently staying, where Le Marche and San Benedetto is in Le Marche, as far as we know, so um, should yeah, be I good. I don't know, I think there's a San Benedetto and a San Benedetto del Tronto. Uh. I okay, don't, don't take my word for it. It might be, it might be near. You oh, we're in Italy. Tell us it in the comments uh, if you're Italian and actually know where this is from. Because we're clearly done, even though we are in Italy right now. It smells like tea. Healthy. Actually tastes like iced tea. I think. Very sweet. Yeah, iced tea. Yeah. Is it made of aloe vera? It must be made of aloe vera, right? I expected it to be less sweet. I expected it to taste like aloe vera. I don't know if we like the taste of aloe vera. I guess not. Maybe that's what aloe vera tastes like. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing, yeah. It does say it's tea. Mm. Next. Okay, I'm kind of scared about this one. This is um, mm. Galatini, and I know lots of Italians love these. Um, but I also know that it's basically condensed milk. And we had something similar in the Philippines, ho ho or ha ha or something, mm -hmm. and we really didn't like it. So I really want to like this because I love Italy and I, I want to be an Italian, but I also don't like condensed milk. So, but yeah, this looks alright. This looks like your little tablet. Mm. Oh, it smells like milk. Mm. Surprisingly, it is. Almost exactly like the stuff we had in the Philippines. I think it's better than the one we had in the Philippines. Better? Mm. Although I don't know if that's just because I'm used to it now. Maybe. Not great. Sorry. Alright, oh. Next. Cut. Okay, so we thought we'd end on a high and we know we absolutely love these. We have them every time we come to Italy and we always take like 10 bags with us when we leave because they're just, they're, they are the best biscuits ever. Um, I don't know how to say that. Gocchioli? Whatever, they're delicious. Yes. That's a, you know, name. They also come in chocolate chip, mm, but we like so the dark ones. This is double chocolate. Double chocolate. Our favourite. Also, it kind of looks like yin and yang. Do the other sign. Wow, mm. look. Deep. Feel delicious. Mm. Really good. It's really good. Okay, that's it for today. <laughs> that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a like if you too love Italian food. Comment below and tell us your favorite Italian types of food. And stick around, um, subscribe, because we're gonna be in Italy for the next month and we're gonna be doing lots, of, lots more on Italian food. We're gonna make pizza from scratch in like a traditional forno. That's right. Yeah, so subscribe and ciao. <laughs> Grazie tante. Arrivederci. Ciao, ciao bella. Ciao bello.